Hello everyone, we are back with the videos and back with the novel series. The novels are the days of the Maya calendar. Today the Maya spiritual guide Apabianteo talks about the novel Cat, Burning into Ashes. Remember if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe, click the bell button to receive notifications whenever I post a new video and also if you enjoy the content don't forget to leave your thumbs up because it helps a lot the channel to grow. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoy the content and I'll see you in the next video. Sure, Papa. Good night to all of you. My name is Apapiante. I will continue with the Nahual Cat is Atik, burning to the ashes. It's one of the Nahuals. There are two Nahuals that talk about the fire. Nahual Cat and Nahual Toh. Nahual Cat is a feminine one and Nahual Toh is a masculine one. There's difference. Nahual Toh will always ask Feel to go high and go to shine. Now, well, cat is exactly what happens later. It begins to descend. The fire that goes down. That's why it's called burning to ashes. It's when you exhaust yourself. In that sense, it also talks about having debts that you have to pay. Effort to be done. Things to be achieved. But it also talks about how you burn, for example, in the human vessel, how you have to fight, how you do have to burn yourself to achieve something. It's the task. It's really when you descend and you already exhausted yourself to pay or to achieve or to complete something. Now, while Kat talks about the net, mostly about the net in which you carry the stuff, your stuff, or to go to work or carrying the things that you are going to use to pay some debt. It's always about the completion of something. You can use the most important word to understand a wild cat, that is to pay or to give life to the other. It's, there's always a transference in this, because if you are going to pay a debt, yes, you, you already won or gained something, but in reality, you are transferring that to that. In that sense, it's people that, that really work for the others. It's people that always take care of communities, the family, the carriers. They're going to be people devoted to help, to give, to provide, the way that we'll always talk about that effort, that substance, that, but especially that is going to give life to some other. Going back to the fire metaphors, is for example, when the fire for the food, for to soften food, or, or any other sense, when you apply something that is going to be the benefit or the use of others. Thank you very much.